Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. I am super excited about today's video. This is my first official um, design team project for Pear Blossom Press. You guys have probably seen me do other cards um, on my channel where I'm using the lights from Pear Blossom Press, but I've recently joined their design team and I am so super excited to be working with Amanda on this. So what I'm going to be using today is the um, one light from Pear Blossom Press. It is basically a little mini flashlight that is perfect for inside your cards. Love these guys. It makes it, this is basically the easiest way, absolute easiest way I have ever seen to be able to add a light to your card to make a salt make yourself a light up card. Awesome. And I'm going to be using a die, a Stampin' Die set that is new to me from Spellbinders. I just purchased this um, recently. They had, Spellbinders has some great sales every once in a while, so I'm usually looking at those to see what I don't have that I want. And I thought that this would make a fantastic light up card. So that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to start off by just stamping out some pieces using my Misty. I've got my new waffle flower sticky mat in here to hold my cardstock in place for when I need to do restamping, which I always do. And we're going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to do a little stamping. I think I'm going to use the ornament in this set as my main focal image. It's also the place that's going to replace the letter O in the word joy. But there are two other images you can use for the same thing. So I'm stamping all three of them out, and I'm going to do it a couple of times. Stamping those out in VersaFine Claire, and then I'm heat embossing those with some clear embossing powder. This is my favorite way of doing any kind of embossing because you know what? It looks like black embossing without the mess of black flakes everywhere. Now I'm going ahead and coloring up each of the images, giving it a little bit of dimension for the little candy piece. I'm using two different shades of red for the red stripes and a cup and a one marker for gray to give the same kind of illusion on the white pieces and just filling all of that in. I do like the way that it turned out and I did go back and go back over the reds a little bit more to give it a little bit more dimension. For the wreath, I'm just using a couple of shades of green. The little holly leaves are so tiny, you really don't have to do that. You could just go with one and nobody's going to know whether or not there's a little dimension there or not. And I think they turned out really cute. For the berries, I'm just using one of my red markers. The markers I'm using, um, most of the time what I use is my Spectrum Noir and that's what I'm using today. I'm doing the same kind of thing with my ornament. Now with the ornament I'm doing the entire thing in a lighter blue green color. Just lovely lovely color and then adding in some darker to give a little bit of depth in some places. So around that circle and then a little bit around the edges and in that little tiny bit in the center. I want that to look a little bit more deep as well and you'll see why in a minute when we get done with the card. So I'm filling all of that in just doing some real simple coloring and using a little bit of grays for the um, ornament topper and that's going to finish up the coloring. I did two sets, well except for the candy one because I messed up the first time around, put red in a place that I wanted white so I didn't do that one again. Now I'm going to just die cut those out using my Platinum 6 die cutting machine and my Magic Mat. That's my preferred way to do any die cutting. And I love the way that the images turned out. They turned out so super cute. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the word onto the card. I'm wanting these to all say joy. So I'm using my ornament as the center place and as going to be the O. And then I position the Y and the J to the sides. I'm using the grid that came with my waffle flower mat to help me line everything up. And you can see that die cut one is going to go over the top. Now is the fun part. We're going to figure out where we want to put our light. I want the light to be right in the center of my ornament ornament. So I'm getting that all lined up and kind of positioning it. You can move it around as much as you need to before sticking it down to see exactly where you want it. Now the little light, it's got a little LED light at one end and then it's got a little button that you push to turn it on. So you need to know where you want that button to be. So I put a little pencil mark there and now I'm using the stamp set from Pear Blossom Press. This is brand new and I'm so excited to get it. I love this. This one is called, I do not see the name. 
Anyway, it is one that has got all of the fun little bits on there for you to add to your cards so you know where to push the button. And I'm stamping that in some All That Jazz, the same ink that I used for the rest of the card. I'm also using some pattern paper from in my stash to be in my background. Now I'm going to poke a hole right in the middle of that stamped ornament. This is going to be behind where the die cut ornament is and I can go ahead and get everything positioned perfect in place using some double sided tape on the top of the battery pack to be able to stick that on to the back of my little white panel. This is going to keep it in place and then I'm just going to use my pokey tool to take off that release paper and stick it down onto the card perfectly placed with the little light going through that little hole that I popped off. Now to make sure I get it all lined up right, I'm using a pencil to go around the battery pack so I know I've got it straight. Once you get familiar with the um, with the mechanism, it's not going to be as big of a deal. Um, I don't trust myself <laughs> in remembering exactly where everything is, so I always use a pencil to make sure I get everything lined up exactly where I want it. And as long as you don't push down too hard, you can reposition it if you don't get it exactly perfect. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I can add my ornament to the top and then we get to take out another fabulous product from Pear Blossom Press. <laughs> I love the way that that works out. Okay, here's what I was talking about. Um, Pear Blossom Press, world's best foam tape. This stuff is absolutely fabulous. I am, I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. You're able to put it down. It is repositionable for 30 minutes. So if like me, you mess up and you need to move things around, you've got time to do so. Also with this one, it is perfect fit thickness to go with our little lights. So you don't have any kind of bulges anywhere. It just fits exactly perfect, perfectly flat. They aren't going to notice that there is actually a mechanism in there until they see the little button that says to push here. So that's one reason why you always want to put that on there. So I'm adding a little bit of foam in different places on the back after I put it around the edges because I've got in mind, I want the light to only show around or mostly only show around where that ornament is. So I'm having to position some more foam tape to kind of act as a block and it works out fabulous. This also means that if you see any blockages on when you put down your foam tape, when you are uh, making one of these, that you don't want, you want the light to be more radiant than what I'm doing. I'm doing concentrated, so I need all that extra there. If you want it to be more radiant, you would of course try to make sure you don't put any foam tape there because it will block the light. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the card put together. I'm just adhering down my teal-ish colored background panel that is just some pattern paper I had in my stash. And then I'm gonna position my little Joy <laughs> focal image right on top. I think this turned out fabulous. I did make two of them with the ornament. I made one with the little um, candy piece. And then I made a couple more cards using the wreath. I did not make those as light up cards, but it's basically the same kind of design. Adding a few gems to my cards so that it just pops just a little bit more. And let's take a look at this finished one. Lights up perfect right in the center of that ornament. And then we'll turn off the lights and see how that looks. <laughs> I think it's fabulous. I probably could have used a little bit more um, blocking of the light on the right hand side, but that's also where the mechanism was. So I didn't really have space to put more tape down. Um, I did two, like I said, of that. And I'm adding the different gems, the gems I got from Cat Scrappy. And yeah, this is just, I'm sorry, from Scrappy Tales. And I think these are just so darling. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. That's going to finish up the card video. Be sure to check out this playlist list on Pear Blossom Press to see more videos using lights and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.